happening, Doug at Eden Lawn Services. Guys, today is the day uh, that we get to do the deck. That's what we're doing. This project's getting to be very tiresome. <laughs> I'm, I'm whooped. I'm falling behind on other stuff. I just need to get some, I need to get this thing going. I still have the hopper to do. I haven't even got into the hopper yet. But uh, the mower's right there. It runs. And uh, the decks and the carrier, the deck and the carrier, uh, it's just a rattle can paint job. It is a Rust-Oleum Farm Implement uh, Caterpillar Yellow. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Remember I bought that John Deere paint, the wrong color, a month ago? <laughs> we never used it. I went back and reread what I was supposed to read, and uh, somebody said, don't use John Deere, use Caterpillar. <laughs> and I went to the store, screwed it up. Anyways, so Caterpillar Yeller. Uh, all I did, guys, is you can see, like on the uh, decals, I just threw painter's tape on it, used razor blade, cut it out, painted it, and then peeled the painter's tape. Same with here. Everything that I w didn't want painted, I just covered with painter's tape, cut it out. It is not a professional job, I'm telling you. It is yellow, and it matches the mower, but I mean, you can see scratches and stuff in it. I didn't sand much. I took my, I took my brush on my battery power to knock off the big chunks and, and rattle can. That's what we got. All right, so let's put this thing together, guys. Let's put it together. We're going to have a completed deck here by the end of this week. I'm kind of excited, really. Right, let's get after it. gearboxes man these are the ones that we did a video on we totally rebuilt them that's what we're starting with is the gearbox remember how we took the put that down how we took the reverse rotation and made it a normal rotation with this this is the setup right here it's just been sitting on my bench so uh let's get this bolted down I gotta find some bolts man i am such a disarray here Okay guys, we're gonna cheat just a little bit here, just simply because I'm trying to get this thing done. But I'm gonna get these threaded in here. I'm gonna have to go underneath. You guys are just gonna have to look at me from underneath here. I'm grabbing two bolts on this side. So I will say why I'm working on this, that this deck underneath had a couple welds that were broken on baffles and whatnot. And they had to be welded. So I had to go uh, flip it over before I painted it and fix a bunch of the baffles. And we beat the snot out of it, getting everything straightened out, kind of like I did on my little Walker B deck. But it looks a lot better than it did. Now, is it perfect? No. It's a used deck, a well-used deck. But it's going to do just fine with what we have going on here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to perform just as good as factory, or close to it anyways. Or a used deck. Oh, I should have cleaned these bolts up. Damn, they're... There we go. Got it. All right, watch your ears. going by a little feel. But we are going to take them by hand. There we go. I thought about painting these gearboxes, but I didn't. I just said, you know what, they're clean, let's leave them. They're basically black. That's what they were from the factory. Right. This paint's a little soft yet. I just painted it yesterday evening. I took two, two coats to get her 
but we got it. I can't see what I'm doing on anything. There. clean till we mow with it the first time and then it's not going to be so clean at all all right so gearbox is installed let's go ahead and put the, the covers on it is about nine o'clock in the morning and it's 50 degrees it is cold so these have a, a bolt that goes through the wheel that threads in here and then there's a spring washer and a nut that locks it in. So, yeah, whatever. Just watch, you'll see what it does. Then it goes on here. Thought about getting some new wheels. These are worn pretty good, but. No more than you use them, it'll be fine. They're still functional. That'll work. And you put the nut on the other side and lock it down. You guys can see a little bit over here. I will say these wheels have been off once upon a time because they put the spring washers on the wrong way. Here, I'll just show you. They had the spring washer that way. So the edges were rubbing into the plastic and it's not, it's supposed to go that way. The edges go to the metal. The round por portion goes to the plastic. It's always how it goes, especially when you have, now if they're both metal, it doesn't matter so much. But still, that's the right way right there. Got the camera sitting on the garbage can. Yep. There we go. Two wheels done. All right. What I really want to do is get this project done. So. So I can clean my shop. That's what I really, really want to do. We should have some washers. can't believe how clean and yellow this is. It's not going to be for long. Washers too. Work. Let's 
So you know whenever you do a project and you always have a leftover bolter and you're trying to figure out where it goes? I'm gonna have lots of leftover bolts, but that's because I tore apart two motors, not just one. Okay, covers are on. Nice. All right. That's about it for whatever that we need to put on here. We gotta flip it over, of course, and put blades and stuff on. But we'll do that after we get assembled to the mower so we can use the latch, we can set it up and latch it. And we'll put the blades on. But we need to prep the carrier, the carrier frame. So let's do that. And I bought a new kit. Okay, we bought a new kit. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. Uh, okay. Get it all out here. Uh, so what we got is the new neoprene washers. I don't know what you call them. They go in the holes. And we got the new rubber pieces that go on, and the neoprene wa washers are held on with uh, snap rings. So the only thing missing in this kit, which I wish I would have ordered, were the metal washers, but I have a set. And here's our metal washers. So, uh, let me clean this thing up. Yeah, okay, so we're good. Snap ring pliers. Snap ring pliers. Oh, you know what? Let me show you guys this. Um, so if you remember back to like the first video, you notice that it was like half of this was missing completely, right? And this one was cracked. So my son, the welder fabricator, he, he took, I gave him the carrier, he brought it home. He cut this out completely, brought it to the shop, and they water jetted out new ones. And then he weld them, welded them on for me. Look at that. Look at that. It's like factory, dude. I mean, it looks so good. So yeah, these are, uh, oh, there's a bug on there. So these are brand new tabs. He welded those on. And you can see in the front, see where the wear is? little bit there too but it wasn't bad enough that I'm gonna worry about it so we just we're rolling with it oh hey you're cooking we're rolling with it all right so four plastic washers go in the plastic holes or in the, the holes and they go down just like that which means we have to put the snap rings on from underneath
last one. I'm just making sure that I'm getting them in the groove, guys. There, they're on. That little kit, I don't know, it was like eight bucks on Amazon. And it isn't a factory kit, it's an aftermarket kit, but it works. All right. This setup over here. Now we have to put the carrier on the deck. Let's do this. Um. You know what else I'm going to need? Okay, I had to get my deck pants. So, this is the back, that's the front, tires need to go over there. My daddy had to come over and see me, so we had to pause there for a second. Before I move this carrier, I want to put the grease caps back on, guys. I don't want grease all over me. Yeah, there's a the little yellow paint of grease. It's fine. And these caps are well beat up, but it will work. There's one. Put this one on. Uh, like I said, I just don't want grease all over me. So. There you go. Grease caps are on. Put that on here. Let's do this. Yeah, making sure you guys can see. This is better than with two people. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, all right, only a few scratches, right? Okay, so I think we're gonna have to just kind of let it come out here like that. Perfect. I'm gonna get in the way of the camera. Perfect. Maybe this side, because all the weight's over here. Um, And we thought that might happen. These pins are off just a hair. But we knew that was gonna happen, guys, because oh, I didn't even tell you, these were all re-welded too, because they were cracked out. And so when my son had it, he just kind of had to guess and re-weld it. And he put them at vertical, but who knows, the carrier might be bent. Maybe these are just off a of hair. So the front ones look to be all right. I'm just hitting the, there we go. Yeah, the front ones seem to be okay. But let's get the modifier out, fix these things. There goes my paint. There we go. Now I gotta get to this one. Hitting a little bit. The tire, the tires are hitting the the sawhorses. Let me see if I can not drop this deck. That would. Be good. There we go. Helps if you lift the right spot. Okay, there we go. Now we can see if she's floating. This way. Let me check this side. right yet we need the bigger modifier here's the bigger modifier
try that. Let's see. Now, I will say also, the fresh paint makes it makes it very difficult because it's sticky. It needs to wear the paint off. We're just going to leave it there for now, and then we'll adjust it later. But yep, yeah, okay. And yeah, see the paint's on here, and these things don't even go on. the front so these are going to go this way i'm going to i don't know the height settings on here because the sticker that showed the pin settings is missing and they changed uh, which hole is what height and i'm not exactly sure when so we're just going to do four holes exposed which is exactly the way my little b is i'm thinking it's the older setting that should be at three inches but we'll measure it once we get it on the ground. We will, we will. Look at that. Hot darn. And through the miracle of editing, uh, being I forgot to include this in the video, we are going to slip this portion of the video in some time through editing in the video. All right, we got a new shoe. Check it out. The other one had a big crack, big hole punched in the side, so. We just got a new one and we got the old spring, but we're going to slap this bad boy on here. Uh, I will say, uh, oh, hey, Laura, what's up? Um, I need a minute when you got one. Okay, time out. Okay, Laura filled me in on all the family comings and goings today because we got, we got a big day. Uh, so the bolts go in this way, and I'm going to show you what I got here, guys. Uh, you want to round it. Where's the camera? Camera. There it is. There is the camera right there. You want a rounded head on the bottom because the grass goes through there. You don't want a square head because it'll catch the grass. So you want a rounded head so you use a, an Allen. An Allen bolt. And then I've got a crimp lock washer, lock nut, excuse me, on the top. The hardest part about this whole project is getting it in the hole and holding it there without losing everything. And being able to see. And I will say, yeah, see that ain't gonna work. If I can't do that, I'm gonna have to do it like this. Let's get the washer on there. Uh, I will say that when I tore this apart, the heads, the Allen heads were so worn down you couldn't get a bite with an allen wrench so i ground them off completely removed them we ground them off and they went bye bye so i had to go get new hardware and that's why i forgot to include this in the video because i was like oh crap i gotta go get the hardware so now it's included Regular Allen wrench, you're not gonna set. There we go, that works. Oh, come on. I'm gonna hold my tongue right here. Need an extension.
There we go. Woo! It hits just a little minuscule amount, but it's perfect. Perfect. All right, vice grips. Get the spring on. Um, what you can't see is there's a metal tab back here that the spring goes on, and it was almost worn clear through, and I spot welded it. So. Now, I have a good hole to hook everything to. This is going to be the hard part, because you can't see. Let's do it from this side. Oh boy. I might have to do it the other way, just so I can... Hold my tongue right. Now we have a completed deck. On to the video. Alright guys, complete assembly of deck. The only thing we haven't put on is the cups and the blades. Um, I actually need to dig them out. I got a brand new set of plates for this. And I have the cups. I need to clean them up. And put them together, some sure bolts, and bolt them on. But, um, I am done with this project for now simply because I can't lift this off the saw horses myself. I need help. <laughs> so uh, I have a bunch of family coming into town today um, to hang out, have fun, and so while they are here, I will get one of my able bodied sons or son in laws to help me lift this. Because <laughs> it's pretty I'm not it's pretty heavy guys. There's a lot of steel there. But that's it guys, that's the new deck. She's done. Well, refurbished. Refurbished. We'll call it refurbished. So, that's it for this video. Just assembly, and uh, pretty soon, we're not far off. We're going to have this mower actually mowing. See ya.